Yes, yes, great place. Verdant rainforest. Very beautiful. Me and Matt came in the truck. Now, when we first saw this place, the real estate agent took us out. And um, when it came time for me and Matt to actually find a place, it, it, it was dark. And we got to a certain point in the road and I just thought, this ain't it. Let's go back. So me and Matt went back with half of the gear and on this road and shaking all the stuff. And we were wrong. Well, I was wrong. We were just a hundred metres away from the house. Being oblivious to the outside world for three weeks is really nice. Just being able to bury your head in doing it. It's one of those things that like, it just sort of evolves and just everyone gets a, gets an idea and, and songs sort of develop and it's a great it's a great process. Yeah, we took down some um, ADAP machines, which are pretty new and um, and they worked really well. Um, two of them kind of joined together at the hip, as it were, and um, just allowed us to do kind of whatever we want. It worked really well. Um, you can describe. Spontaneous. A lot of the um, stuff that went to tape was the one-off winning the side of things. I think. Oh yes, I did enjoy it. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, yes, great place. Make it soon is right up there. Thirst is really good too. It's growing on the more and more. Breakaway is pretty cool. I like that one. I don't I don't really have a favourite one. I like them all really for different reasons. Yeah, I like breakaway. It's got the lot. Everything and more. Breakaway is my favourite. Well, from the gastronomic point of view, definitely Paul's, uh, Paul's curry is up there with the best I've ever tasted throughout the world. Absolutely fantastic sort of stuff. And the kitchen facilities, mind-blowing. <laughs> no, nothing like having a good kitchen to be able to achieve that certain piquance in, in the chili and curry area. Food. Uh, yeah, Paul's curry, that was pretty spectacular. We had some visitors down there, some people who was we um, came down and visited us and um, it was really strange because they'd say hello and they'd look at the kitchen and then they'd disappear and we'd kind of go about our thing and next thing you know there was a feast. So to all our visitors who cooked monumental grubs of food, um, very wonderful. Oh, that was awesome. Today was a special meal, Pete. There was always a favourite dish. There was always something that was right for the night. <laughs> Yes, my chore was to go and feed the ducks every morning. And um, it was very exciting. One, the black one that we thought was, was the male actually ended up laying an enormous egg. So we weren't there to see it hatched, unfortunately. But they were, they were really beautiful. And they'd come up to the house and look for things. And, and one was, the white one was a real Jemima puddle duck. Mine and Stewie's first walk into the surrounding countryside resulted in us coming back home taking off our shoes because we weren't allowed to wear shoes and you know on the carpet just like how. And there it was. Ah! A leech. Oh, it was the most frightening thing. Too leechy. Way too leechy. But as Pat 
called it before, very lychee. <laughs> As different from lychee. Darting, a bit of dartometry happened. Took a bit of a liking to darts. That was kind of a good fun sport, as it were. Smelly. The red thing. Yes, we seem to have this thing where on some days we wear the same colour. We read into it what we will. Read into it. Yes, a bit of a fiesta day. <laughs> 